back to the 311 Griffin YouTube channel, ladies and gentlemen. Sorry I didn't post anything last week. It was Thanksgiving week here in the United States, and uh, my brother came up and we worked on an engine for uh, his truck and then did Thanksgiving stuff. And so I just, I had some stuff I could have put together, but I didn't. Uh, this video, I apologize, will not be super, super helpful because we had some issues with communication and I had issues with getting the gun loaded correctly here in the JF-17, um, which I will probably talk about later, but it, it was my fault, I'm sure. Um, I'm used to other aircraft and I hadn't, I, I just assumed that this aircraft would be the same. So, uh, I didn't get the gun loaded correctly and it wouldn't fire. Uh, I finally figured out how, but we were both out of fuel by the time, uh, or nearly out of fuel by the time that happened. So, um, so what we have here is just a turning fight with no shots fired. And, and so, and because of the issues I had with comms, and the issues I had with the gun, that's why I don't know that it'll be super helpful. But I do find it somewhat beneficial to go back and watch these videos over, especially with how much improved Warlock is. Um, and, and you'll see um, that I, I was still pretty much in our offensive position the entire time, but I didn't have very many chances uh, to do anything with it. And he did a good job of keeping his energy up. So if you'll remember from previous fights with Warlock, he's a ground attack guy. And doesn't do a lot of the air-to-air -air stuff. Um, and and he's he's a more skilled pilot than I am. Um, but he just doesn't really uh, enjoy the air-to-air -air as much. And he's always super gracious to um, allow me to do some practice with him. But um, essentially we took off, um, got close together, flew in formation for long enough to burn some fuel off of both of these fuel hog jets and uh, and then we turned in opposite directions uh got to a certain distance apart and then rolled back in on each other uh pointed at each other and and then merged and of course no firing until after the merge and then uh weapons free so um Trying to think of any other disclaimers or introduction issues, items that I need to uh, talk about um, before we get into it. But I think that pretty much covers it. No comms, no sound on the video um, because it was more beneficial just to turn it off and uh, and there's no shots actually fired. So, okay, so now we're getting into it. Um, I believe I'm, I can't tell in the video here. I don't remember. I think I was pointed east. And so we're rolling back in. I'm not for sure what our distance is here. It was more of a time thing, but we're probably 20 miles apart. We flew for a bit longer than we probably should have for separation, but we were just making sure our planes were set up more or less correctly. Um, I did not get my radar turned on right away. And, you know, this is where the comms kicked in. He was telling me that he wasn't seeing me on my RWR, and that kind of helped me realize that, wait, I'm missing something here. This is... Um, uh, and, and luckily, I guess if you fly DCS enough and fly other jets enough, you start learning where to look, even if they're different. So I look down here on the radar and I, and like, oh, okay, there we go. It was in standby mode. That's cool. Um, if it was hot start, if it wasn't hot started, I wouldn't even gotten that far. Um, and then I, I wish that I realized that the, or had known that I needed to do some work with the, uh, what I, what I'm going to call the, um, the stores management uh, or the weapons management to get the gun fully ready. Um, I've selected it and fed it and my master arm is on, but anyway. So there's the merge, fight is on, and I turned pretty hard here. I'm missing my helmet mounted queuing system or helping uh, helmet mounted display. Um, I really wish. The JF-17 had one. I think I've said that in a previous video, but I'm so used to it and being able to kind of keep an eye on my speed even when I'm looking over my shoulder. Um, and I'm assuming in the real thing it's less necessary because you can kind of feel the aircraft a bit. But um, anyway, I'm I'm in a decent position after the turn. Less energy, but I'm uh, geometrically I'm in a better position. So you can see he's really fast. I dip my nose down to try to turn inside, keep my turn inside him without um, losing too much speed and I just you can see the aircraft kind of shaking there that's when you you can tell in the sim even if you don't have a 
sim shaker or any feeling whatsoever, you can kind of tell you're low. So I'm I'm still in good position geometrically. Kind of losing for a minute. Luckily, the one thing the JF-17 does a pretty good job of is showing you where they are, as long as it can maintain radar um, lock or bugging on them. It'll it'll kind of tell you where that they're out of your HUD and tell you how to maneuver. Um, one thing I don't like is when it's pointing all the time whenever you're trying to pull the right amount of lead, and it's saying, hey, like they're that way, they're that way. You're kind of thinking, I know they're that way. I'm pulling lead. Um, so there, my pipper was close, but I didn't attempt anything because uh, I knew it was it was. I could have done maybe an ambush shot, but it just didn't seem high probability. And this plane just doesn't have that much ammo anyway. He went vertical, and he had a, a lot more energy than I did there. So I start struggling to to follow where I want to point the nose where I want, and uh, I'm still in okay position, but. You know, I'm not for sure. We didn't really discuss this. I, w I wish we would do after action reviews and, and just kind of like um, we need to get some servers set up where we can watch it back in TAC view or something and um, really quickly. And, and I'm not sure what his decision was for going vertical, but um, it wasn't necessarily a bad move in this situation because, um, you know, he had a lot more energy than me. But in the overall chess game, it may have hurt because um, I think I might have tried the shot there. And then, I re yeah, okay, so, so right there, like, as he was kind of turning around, I did have a shot. I don't know that it would have hit, but that was, the, that was where I realized my gun wasn't firing. And so you saw me pause a little bit and just kind of fly level and relax. And that was me just like wondering what was up with my gun. And then I decided I better, I better turn it around, uh, turn it around and follow him some more. And I can at least maneuver for the gun kills, you know, cause in, in actual training, they don't shoot each other either. <laughs> so, you know, you can just kind of go, well, I've, I've got a solution. So I'm, I'm in better position throughout this little section, um, than I've been in a while, but even there, he, he crossed me with a lot of energy, and you can already see he's pulled a lot of gap. So um, the rest of this fight was basically this, uh, and then we were both low on fuel. Um, it, it was essentially, he started turning a little bit more back and forth and reversing, and I think he was just trying to make something happen where he could get in an offensive position, so he was, he was just seeing if he could mix it up a little bit, and I don't mind that. Um, it kind of played into my hands a little bit more, but because he kept his energy up, even though he was turning and doing some reversals, he still kept it up. So right here, it was almost something I could have used, but not quite. And that's probably me just being frustrated with the gun and, and not making the turns I needed to turn. His energy is closer to mine now than it has been yet. Maybe that's maybe he's relaxed because he knows my gun isn't working too. I don't know. But um, anyway... This is pretty much the end of the serious fight because we both got low on it. energy and, and he wasn't able to get in position on me and I wasn't able to use my gun. So um, anyway, uh, the video is going to fade out here, but um, I'll just wrap it up and say that in the F-16, I think as long as you're keeping your energy up in a fight like this, that's fairly close, but you just have a little bit more power to wait and a little bit more ability to escape. You know, even if you can't get an offensive shot, you should be able to make your escape um, by keeping that energy up. Um, and you certainly won't get shot. Uh, the only problem is that if you want to stay in the fight and you can't get something to happen, um, you will run out of fuel. Um, probably first. The JF-17 can run out pretty quickly too. Um, but... Just don't don't exchange your energy in the F-16 uh, without intentionality. And I would say that's true for any jet. Um, but in this particular situation, you know, the JF-17 was really able to kind of hang back in the offensive position a little bit easier. Uh, and that might be partially because I've done more 
of the air to air stuff. I don't consider myself to be good, but I've just done more of it. And, and maybe that's why, but I think it also has to do with the JF 17's turning ability. The F 16 really seems to have a lot more acceleration and ability to just go fast and stay fast. So, um, so, so, you know, we both kind of tried to use our planes to our advantage and it didn't quite work. Uh, I, I would say that if my gun was working, I had a solid chance to win the fight, but I don't know that those shots would have landed. There's a there's a pretty good chance, too, that I would have missed. So I would have taken the only shots, but I may still not have won the fight. Um, so in the end, this particular fight was a draw, even if my gun was working. I'm going to call it a draw. It would have taken a lucky hit, probably. Uh, and so props to Warlock. He's... Uh, doing a much better job of keeping his energy up, and that really works in the F-16. Um, so it, it's going to make for some interesting fights in the future, um, especially if we if we both practice a little bit and then we go back to F-16 symmetrical fighting. Um, th that could get pretty interesting and pretty frustrating as well. So I'm um, sorry for the less than helpful video, but I hope that you guys got something out of it. I did. Um, and, and just watching it back. So I think it's beneficial. And with that, I will sign off. Happy flying. Thank you for watching.